This is a public service announcement. Donate to charity, not your boss. Each year, many workers, mistakenly or unknowingly, take money they saved for health expenses and give it to their boss. Let's look at how that happens and how to prevent it from happening to you. Since the disco era, flexible spending savings accounts have let families take money out of their paychecks for health expenses pre-tax. It's cash to cover things like co-pays, hospital bills, and medicine. Millions sign up because they can save you serious money. But Uncle Sam sets the rules, and they're pretty strict. First, you can only spend your money on allowed items. Some things qualify without an explanation, and the list changes. For example, feminine hygiene products just became eligible. With some other items, you'll need a prescription or a letter of medical necessity from your doctor. Your plan should have a detailed list for you. Pro tip, mileage to and from your doctor appointments and pharmacy visits might also qualify for reimbursement. Here's the trickiest part, the part with your boss. Federal law requires you to spend your balance each plan year. Whatever money you don't spend can be sent back to your employer. If you don't use it, you can lose it, and your boss can keep it. Because of the pandemic, the IRS is now letting companies loosen the use it or lose it rules. Businesses can let you carry over part of your balance or give you a grace period to spend your leftover FSA money in 2022. But the IRS doesn't require companies to offer either. So what happens to your unspent balance on December 31st? Ask HR or the company that keeps your account for details. Here's good news. Many stores now have special sections highlighting eligible items. You can stock up on everyday medical supplies and commonly used medicine today. So you donate exactly zero dollars to your boss at the end of the year.